Hey everybody, the Lego Bros back here with another video. Hey guys, what's up? And in this video, we're going to be talking, uh, we're going to be reviewing about uh, the Lego Harry Potter Quidditch match set, set 75956, ages 714, and this set came out in 2018. So, this is the first wave of the new good Harry Potter sets, right? Yep, last so, time we got Harry Potter sets, I think it was in 2011. And 2016 was not counted because that was Lego Dimensions. Yeah. Um, so, our latest video before this, our first video was just the introduction. The video after that was uh, Lego Harry Potter, um, like the CMF, opening and reviewing them. So also stay tuned, we might do a whole Lego haul video soon and we might build, not like speed build, review the Burrow set of Harry Potter as well soon in a month or so. So we'll start off with the minifigures, yeah. so my brother will talk about the first one. Alright, so here is Marcus Flint and he's got this stud shooter thing which, i think it's the blood gel which or all you do I is just press this good. down and it just shoots and it's basically a red minifigure head and here's the minifigure uh no alternate face and he has his broom piece so and he's yeah. part of slytherin so that's all for marcus flint also one thing i really like about these new capes is they're a lot more soft and I like this Slytherin Quidditch design. I'll just let the camera focus. Um, there we go. So um, I like this new Quidditch. Uh, I don't think it's, I think it's new for 2018. I don't think it was used before, but I, I uh, it has like this uh, Slytherin, house crust logo so that's all i want to say for marcus flint next i'll talk about uh lucian ball so he has uh, the bat i forgot I, I haven't seen the movies in a while so uh forgive me if i say some of the items wrong so he just has his normal i i uh black broom i'm pretty sure that they the that this set is from the first first movie yeah uh but it has the nimbus 2001 for some reason even though that was from the second movie um i don't know if that was done on purpose or an accident and then he has this spiky hair piece he has an alternate face which is like a scared expression like that and he has the exact same torso print and legs print as uh, Marcus Flint. So that will be it for this character. All right, next, next is um, Severus Snake. And uh, here he is. He is a pretty cool minifigure and uh, he does have a double-sided face. And he has a black wand and he does have that uh, face. I think during the scene he was trying to cheat during the Quidditch match when he was trying to. Actually, I think... he wasn't doing it. It was actually Quirrell, but they thought it was Snape. So um, there's a, actually a play feature from that scene. That's how you can tell yep. it. it's we'll from the first that movie. Soon. All right, let's move on to the next minifigure. Um, it's Harry Potter himself. He has short legs, of course, since it's from the first movie. Um, also, one thing I wanted to say about Marcus Flint is his, he uses the Harry hairpiece from the older waves of the Lego sets before 2018. I think it was like 2011 or something. But there's this new hairpiece. Um, I don't know if it's bad. I kind of think it might be better. Not, not I'm not like... Because I don't actually have an older Harry. I've only seen like pictures of it. But I personally think from images and stuff that this one's better. He even has the golden snitch. It's detailed. Uh, like the wings. And I'll show you. Yeah, he has a Gryffindor house crest. He has this. I, I don't know what that is. 
but it, it's his robes. He has a red cape. Um, he has white legs, just like all the other Quidditch outfits, uh, except these ones are shorter. So next, we'll be moving. We'll mo be moving on to the next figure, which is Oliver Wood. Yep. He is on Harry Potter's team, Gryffindor. And pretty basic, but you know it's still nice to um have him to your Harry Potter minifigure collection. Uh, generic hairpiece, but it still fits the character. And just like the other characters, he has a broom. So that's Oliver Wool. And then the oh. final minifigure is Hermione Granger. Um, this Hermione um has a actually a better, more accurate hairpiece from according to the first movie. She has a happy expression and a scared one. She has this uh, uh, this one that most of the Gryffindor minifigures have. Actually, I don't think most of them. I don't have many, but um, this one, I've actually seen it a lot. Um, it has just the basic uh, Gryffindor, like, a tie over there on the neck and then like the sweater and then it has black short legs and it even has back printing it has these bits at the bottom and then it has these bits on the clothes and then that's it for Hermione Granger next we'll be talking about the play features and what's different about um the credit stands so first we'll be talking about the gryffindor one um the thing that all of them are different this one is like the glass window piece and it has the technic pins that let it swing and it has a sticker on it so next we'll be talking about the slytherin one all right here's a slytherin one um Pretty sure you meant to put Snape here. I'm just gonna put him here. And there is a play feature on the back where you just, you know, turn this, um, and then it kind of looks like that there's a flame there. I'm pretty sure in the movie somebody used a spell. Uh, it was Hermione, yeah. Yeah, and I'm Cause they sure... thought Snape was cheating, and then they uh, lit a flame on his robes. Yep, I'm just gonna put Hermione on the Gryffindor build. And you can even see on the box that Hermione's pointing the wand at Snape like that and then the fire the flame is out like that yep so that's for this stand now take a look at this main build this main build so we'll just move everything else to the side and before we look at the main build um this ha there's a chest which was also in the movie. You can put this extra, I think it was like a bludger or something in there. And that chest can just stay there. And then we have this Hufflepuff stand, which has the points. So one stud, uh, like a circular, like tile stud, equals to 10 points. We know that because in the movie, um, Slytherin had two points, and there's two studs, and Gryffindor had three points, and there's 30 points, and there's, uh, uh, three studs, and Slytherin had 20. And if we open this area, there's one extra, uh, one that you can put to make both of them have three. And then there's even an extra piece. I just put it in there. Uh, it's in case you lose the other one. So, in the back here... There's this stand kind of thing with the trophy. You can just attach it there. And there's even these tile pieces. So if you want to make it look like um, the other te two teams are competing, you can just swap any of these uh, out. The pictures, the tiles. And you can like make your own scene maybe if you have more characters and stuff. So
All right, yeah, so. So there's even um, a little play feature a here. Play. First, we'll talk about the blue stand. Oh, uh, yeah. So here's the blue stand, and this is part of Ravenclaw. And I don't know, according to the box, you don't put any minifigure here, but you get this little... Um, a megaphone. Megaphone, yep. Yeah. And this one doesn't really have much. Probably my least favorite build of all four of them, honestly. Just my opinion. And then there's also a play feature here. So what you can do with Oliver Wood, you can like twist his leg back and then move the broom forward to make it look like he's actually sitting on the broom. And then you put him like that and uh, my brother will show the play feature. Yep, so basically because this is like transparent, yeah, you can make it do that and it looks like that he's actually flying. And that he's do he's like uh, making, he's hitting the bludgers back so they yep. don't go in the vault. And you can see in the camera, Harry Potter is flying. No, I'm yeah. just kidding, I have my hand here, but... And then... I don't, you can't fit any minifigure through this thing, I think that was in the movie. What you can do just for, you know, like fun, you can do this and then make it go through the ring. Yep. Which is supposed to happen in the movies. Yeah, because you get four flyers in this scene. Yeah. I mean, not. I think there's more, but this Lego set has four. Yeah. And yeah, you can just keep doing that and it's you a can, lot of fun. There's a, like a little black piece here. So it, it's attached to Technic pins that are hidden underneath there. And you can just do that. It's pretty cool. Also, another thing uh, you can do, it shows on the box as well, actually, in, I think it was on the back, where you can take this megaphone off, and it's attached to one of these uh, circular studs, light grey with a hole in the middle, and then uh, on, I think, the back of the box, it showed um, Hermione was holding the megaphone, like that. So you can do that so that there's an announcer maybe announcing like the points and stuff here. So overall, I think this set is uh, pretty cool. Yep, we'll but just... what I they, they could have done, maybe added one more figure, maybe from Ravenclaw, like an announcer or could have done something cool with this build like they did with the others. And my brother will tell his final thoughts on this set Okay, as well. but before we just get to our final thoughts, I'm just going to show you the instruction booklet. So you get two instruction booklets, but this one has the advertisement. It shows three sets that you can combine. I mean, that spider set, you can't really do much. You don't really combine. It's just in the corner there. Yeah, but it's in the background. You can combine Hogwarts Castle with the Whomping Willow set. Uh, unfortunately, we do not own any. This is our actually our only Harry Potter Lego set so far, other than the CMO. And also the box, uh, yeah. yeah, it just shows the art, of, art for the set, and the back. And then at the back. Shows really nice play features, and you can also put points, you can get the studs and put the points. Yeah, and you can swap that out, I showed before. You can see Hermione's sneaking up to the Slytherin stands, like in the movie. And you can see that, um, at here, right there, one of the minifigures, um, Marcus Flint. I think he's hiding. Yeah, or he's like going through that area. Oh, so I just fell. I'm just gonna put it um, here. I'll just put this box back here. Okay. And well, I keep knocking things we'll, over. We'll do that later. And to our final thoughts, I'm gonna rate this set out of ten. I'm giving this set a nine out of ten. I think it's a really good set. It's much better than the 2010. Which match set and because this set was cheap for us, I think we bought it for like forty five Australian dollars. Yeah. It, it was it's it's a really good deal for like I think five hundred pieces, six minifigures, and you get these really nice builds and I think this is a great set for display and definitely a great set to add to your Harry Potter yeah. collection. So I think this set definitely is one of the best Lego Harry Potter sets. Yeah, I also uh, agree with my brother that it's nine out of ten because you know, if you want to make stop motion, like, remakes of the scene, since it's really accurate, you can, if you have some extra minifigures, you can maybe put them in the background in the stands. So, that would be really cool, and I, I love this set, and I think it's also one of the best sets in the Harry Potter waves. And, 
yeah, stay tuned for any other videos. Yeah, we're thinking of buying, you know, the room requirement, like I said, that came out this year, and the borrow, and probably the private drive as well. Yeah, private drive is less likely, though. Yeah, but we will review more Harry Potter sets, so stay tuned. I'm not sure if it's going to be the next video. It could be something else, but that's it for now. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Yeah, and so... Also, in case you're thinking, oh, like, we always make Harry Potter videos, well, it's just that uh, we r recently have been buying some of the Harry Potter stuff, so we will also make videos like Ninjago or Toy Story or something like that, so uh, be sure to uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos and hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. And if you guys have YouTube channels and you need advice to make them better, just ask us in the comments and we'll tell you. So we'll see you all later. Bye. And